Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. So the forecast for us calls for a uh, daytime high of about 85 or 82 right now. But the dew point still not too bad at 57. We can all live with that, I think. But the good news is that dew point will drop even further over the next 24 hours as winds shift. Right now they're southeast and we will see that dew point rise up into the 60s this afternoon. The southeast wind is going to switch southwest before it continues around the compass and ends up out of the north overnight tonight. That will draw down that drier air. Mix of sun and clouds out there with uh, clouds on the increase. 78 degrees, Wachula, Mayaka, Parish, Bradenton, Arcadia, Northport, Ponta Gorda. 79 degrees in Venice and 77 in Inglewood. 75 degrees, a little bit cooler out on the key at Longboat. So we're looking at uh, a frontal boundary located to the north, an area of low pressure, a trough if you will and a high pressure ridge to the north of that. That high pressure ridge sending down that cooler, drier air, though a lot of the country is still experiencing above average temperature. Still lower dew point air is in the deep south. And this frontal boundary will be sinking southward over the day. The low pressure area responsible for the majority of the heavier showers uh, out in Gulf waters will pretty much stay out in Gulf waters. In fact, it may dissipate and some of the showery activity pushed back to the west with the frontal passage and that general wind that will be switching from the north and eventually northeast, pushing those showers back in that direction. Because the air is not terribly, terribly cold in the United States right now, we're not looking at an Arctic blast with this frontal passage, but we will lower the temperature a few degrees and we will lower the dew point. So what we will be seeing is an extended period of really nice weather, I think. For today, more clouds around. That's a given. Sprinkles are possible before the end of this event. We'll probably put the chance at about 20% for a light sprinkle, maybe a passing shower, and that most likely to occur this evening till about midnight or so. Cooler air on the way but certainly not colder air. We'll just call it a little cooler. You see the showers that have moved across north central Florida. Now again, a lot of that not even reaching the ground, but some of it is. And the heaviest of the stuff remaining out in Gulf waters for the most part. That showery activity associated with a little trough of low pressure. Uh, locally, we've got a lot of false echo on the screen. We also have a few areas that have produced a, maybe a sprinkle or two. That's about it. But watch what happens with our wind gusts and wind directions. Well, not too bad this afternoon. They pick up a little bit tomorrow, and then tomorrow afternoon, I think they really start coming out of the northeast, and we get some pretty good gusts of wind. So boaters, don't be taken by surprise by that when it happens. Forecast on the RPM computer model continues to show the showers and thunderstorms sink, or not thunderstorms, but showers sinking southward, the low kind of dissipating, and everything pushed back toward the west as we enjoy a nice northeast wind drawing down drier air and lots of sunshine for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, probably Sunday as well. For boaters today, winds pick up during the overnight. Nothing surprising there with the frontal passage. We'll look for uh, next couple of days featuring some very nice weather. A lot more sunshine starting tomorrow. Veterans Day looks great. Daytime highs in the upper 70s, low relative humidity, and sunshine through the weekend. Scott?